now we are starting here classification of living uh, beings here i want to introduce some of the concept or basis of classification first we have to discuss about cell type now we are aware that every every living being is made up of cell may be possible some living beings are unicellular in nature uni means one that means they are having only one cell uh, like you are aware of amoeba then there are multicellular animals also but uh, certain living beings say for example if i want to talk of viruses then we are considering viruses on border of this system because we can't consider them as living as well as non living reasons we'll discuss later so here uh, it's very clear for you that we are talking about live uh, life system and in that we are talking about first cellular structure basically two types of cells are observed they are called as prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell so first i should uh, give here clear cut idea that cells we are dividing into two part one that is called as pro and second that is called as eukaryotic cell why this type of classification is required let us check out prokaryotic cell as name indicate it is pro that means uh, it is prior or earlier form they are not, not having departmentalization uh, suppose you are visiting any institute if it is small institute there is no departmentalization no cabins are there uh, all things are happened in only one single office but if you are visiting out huge institutions then there is departmentalization uh, we are having office area separate suppose that is college then laboratories are separate lecture rooms are separate uh, all these uh, governing bodies like principal they are having separate office uh, supervisors they are having separate cabins and like that so here i should consider uh, this is pro as primitive one but uh, really speaking i don't feel there is any primitiveness in this part uh, anyway we are talking of now prokaryotic cell there is a capsule inside this capsule there is a material we are calling that as cytoplasm so that cytoplasm is present you are aware that whatever inside this uh, capsule we are calling that as cytoplasm or many time we refer as protoplasm also protoplasm means whatever there inside the cell that is called as protoplasm whereas cytoplasm that means a jelly like liquid that is present inside this tube uh, or a capsule that is called as cytoplasm and organelles instead of organelles certain bodies they don't have any membrane they are floating anywhere in the uh, cell so this type of cells we are calling them as pro karyotic cell so you will not get any definite organelles that is the characteristic of prokaryotic cell so bacteria best example that is bacteria are belonging to this type of cell that is called as prokaryotic cells bacteria may be uh, they are autotrophic in nature may be they are heterotrophic in nature you are aware of the word but otherwise i should tell you autotrophic means they prepare their own food with help of photosynthesis many time bacteria are carrying out another type of synthesis that is called as chemosynthesis so bacteria they are either photosynthetic or chemosynthetic then heterotrophic uh, heterotrophic heterotrophic means uh, they are not preparing their own food they depend on others for getting their food so they are called as heterotrophic bacteria so here uh, we are saying this is as prokaryotic cell what is the predominant characters of pre uh, this uh, prokaryotic cell that is uh, these cells are not having membrane bound organelles inside the cell only capsule is there cell size is relatively smaller they are either solitary or colonial in nature 
solitary that means living their own single whereas colonial they are having groups and living in the form of groups so this is about prokaryotic cell now eukaryotic cell i should divide into various categories but here i am dividing only in two categories first they are called as plant cell and animal cell again uh, in every category we have somatic cells and gamete cells they are also separate but right now we are focusing uh, primitive type of configuration uh, classification so here we are talking of plant cell and animal cell so this is prokaryotic cell now we are focusing on eukaryotic cell in case of eukaryotic cell uh, we are going first to explain animal cell in this animal cell uh, there is again some here here we are having capsule so similar here we are having a capsule but it is not called as capsule it is called as plasma membrane uh, let me clarify more here uh, you can compare egg uh, egg is also cell but it is special form of cell we are calling that as gamete cell uh here we can consider egg as cell because that cell we can observe with our eye so it is not necessary that we have to observe through microscope uh so these cells are observed only under microscope but egg cells being special cells they are having comparatively uh, greater size and one can observe this cell with our normal eye so you can observe this is egg uh if you uh just boil that egg you will find that inside material is getting solidified actually in case of egg we are having a nucleus like part which is yellow in color we are calling that protein as globulin whereas outside part which is actually oily jelly like oily part is there we are calling that as albumin but on heating above 52 degree celsius this gets set and we are getting this white color part we are calling that as pro proteins are set here okay anyway just uh, imagine it's open egg uh, it is not boiled egg then you will find a fine membrane under hard calcium shell so we are having this hard uh, sorry fine membrane that fine membrane i can consider here as plasma membrane now inside that there is nucleus so here also we are having nucleus now nucleus is double walled uh, my drawing is not good so i am showing here something like this actually this is double walled nucleus and there are pores that means holes are there inside that nucleus virtually controls really controls all the activities going on in the cell now this is nucleus uh now inside nucleus if you observe we are getting a material uh, that is we are calling as chromosomes but they are not visible throughout the time but uh, i am showing here some sorts of coiled structure there are chromosomes present inside the nucleus now uh, this is nucleus from that these pores are there and then we are getting some material like this even you can check out in egg also you are getting something white material sticking to this part this is something like uh, this part folds are there membranous part containing folds we are calling that as endoplasmic reticulum so this is endoplasmic reticulum this is nucleus now uh, many time on this endoplasmic reticulum there are granules so this is called as granular endoplasmic reticulum sometimes they are not having granules they are having only smooth structure so we are calling them as uh, smooth endoplasmic reticulum these granules are made up of ribosomes so here these granules are made up of ribosomes and they are carrying out work that is function that is photo uh, sorry that is protein synthesis so from amino acids proteins are synthesized over here uh with help of this ribosomes present on this uh, endoplasmic reticulum then we are having a certain empty spaces inside 
if you observe they are having some bubble like structure we are calling them as vacuoles so here this type of vacuoles are there uh, if you boil out egg and just remove the upper part you will get inside egg but it is not having smooth shape usually it is having some curve at one end this is because some vacuole is present here so same way i am showing here there is some presence of vacuole inside that then we are getting here another bodies they are filled with enzymes enzymes are chemicals they are carrying out uh, or rather carrying out i should use word triggering out the chemical reaction so some different 60 types of enzymes are present in this uh, body we are calling that as lysosome i am revising the word they are called as lysosomes then we are having certain disket shaped structures and some bubble like appearance along with that we are calling that as golgi complex so this type of structures are present i am not showing entire all structures present again keep in mind all structures are not visible at a time in the cell if you observe cell uh, let us take example uh, onion cell under microscope you will observe only cell wall or box like structure bricks like structure rather nothing will be there inside if you add drop of iodine tincture iodine what is tincture iodine solid iodine is insoluble in water so we have to dissolve solid iodine in alcohol and then uh, it can dissolve in water so this solution is called as tincture iodine so if you add drop of tincture iodine then only nucleus is visible like that various substances we are adding out so that certain parts of cell are visible we are calling that as stain so here we are having some name of stain i am just saying iodine tincture iodine is one important stain we are using to observe nucleus then if you want to observe chromosomes then chromosomes are absorbing out a stain that is called as acetocarmin so with help of acetocarmin we can observe chromosome uh, then eosin is another name of stain so like that various stains are huge and then various parts are observed again uh, with help of ordinary microscope uh, there are different types of microscope you are aware a uh, simple microscope consisting of only one lens compound microscope is consisting of two lenses whereas uh, their magnification power is different but a uh, very high resolution resolution means ability to separate out things a uh, very high resolution microscopes are now available we are calling that as electron microscope with help of cathode rays this type of uh, observations are possible so it is not microscope that we have to observe through that uh, we are getting display on the screen so that is electron microscope with help of that we can assign different parts or we can observe different parts in the cell so these are called as cell organelles so basically i am showing here only few organelles this is not entire material inside cell i am showing here now uh, here i must compare with this cell just observe here no organelles i am able to show but here i can show various organelles present so this is basic difference this is membrane bound organelles this is not membrane bound organelle now if i want to tell you about plant cell then plant cells are also having simple uh, similar structure like this but certain changes are there say for example plant cell are having somewhat fixed shape animal cells are not having fixed shape so this way we are having a cell wall the material used for cell wall that is called as cellulose so here a uh, basic difference between animal cell and plant cell that plant cells are having cellulose cell wall around it whereas animal cells they don't have cellulose cell wall around it plant cells uh, animal cells are not having any fixed shape but plant cells are usually rigid they possess a simpler fixed shape now 
न्यूक्लियस इट इज देयर एज इट इज सेम टू सेम आई एम नॉट ड्रॉइंग एंटायर एवरीथिंग बट वॉट इज द मोर प्रॉमिनेंट थिंग इन प्लांट सेल दैट इज द वैक्यूल here we are having number of vacuoles but size of vacuoles are small number of vacuoles are more but here we are having large vacuole vacuoles are empty spaces membrane bound empty spaces uh, usually certain functions in cell they are carried out in vacuole uh, let me explain suppose certain foreign particle is there it is trapped in vacuole then these lysosomes get attached to vacuole out of 60 enzyme the required enzymes are secreted here that particle is dissolved if it is food particle it is dissolved digested that we are calling as a uh, breakdown is carried out and then it is absorbed here the waste material is there inside this vacuole it is thrown away so this way vacuole functions here uh, this is the function of vacuole in case of plant cell Uh, there is no permanent excretory system so waste material is stored in this vacuole and so we are having large vacuole here we are having another thing that i have to show that is called as chloroplast a green color pigment that is appearing here we are calling that as chloroplast which is uh, not present in plant uh, sorry in animal cell except euglena and chlorella apart from that all animal cells they don't have chloroplast but plant cell they have chloroplast so like that basic differences i am discussing here there are many differences say for example at time of cell division we can observe something it is present it is not present like that but right now we are functioning we are focusing on our function uh, purpose so here i am explaining basic differences uh, cellular cell wall present absent fixed shape not fixed shape chloroplast are present chloroplast are absent except euglena and chlorella vacuoles are less in number but larger in size vacuoles are small in size but larger in number so this is basic differences now you have clear cut idea what is prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell